Hello and welcome to Tech Guinness. My name is Chandra and I'm a technology explorer. Welcome to the new video where we talk about client credentials grant in OR2. So we'll be using key clock as usual to work on the client credentials grant. Let's see. So I am logged into my key clock. I'm using key clock 18 for this demo. So uh, right now on the realm settings, let's go to clients. So for client credentials, let's talk about what client credentials is. So when you generate a token, right, every token type, right, uh, is a bare token. In most of the cases, right, when you want to invoke your API, you are using a bare token. But every bare token is cannot be used to invoke the API. Why? Because the token is intended for the different purpose. For example, if I want to know my account balance, right? There is an API to give you the account balance. I cannot use the my client uh, token, right? Or so every token, for example, I am generating a token for Chandra. So then I can get to know the account balance of Chandra only. So there I need to use a user based token, right? Which is associated with a user. Now, this is the main difference between a user based token and a client credentials token. So, when we say client credentials token, this token is intended mainly for the clients only to get their information. I am saying demo client. Now, this client is created demo client. Okay. But is it ready to be used for client credentials? Not yet, because we cannot see any credentials to use. So let's make this access type as confidential. Now you can see when I change the access type as confidential, I got this thing service accounts enabled. Let's first save it. Okay. So it is saying let's. Uh, do one thing let's specify the url okay so now with confidential access i got the credentials so these are my client id and secret and basically the client credentials now how to get the tokens so again i'm into my postman and you can see this URL, token URL will remain the same whether you are using the client credentials, password grant or authorization code flow. Okay. So this is the token endpoint of key clock. So what is the difference here? In the form parameters, we are passing grant type, which is client credentials. This will make sure that we are using client credentials, this grant type. So we will pass two more uh, attributes, which is client ID. Now client ID will be demo client. Okay, client secret. So when this thing, right, when this client was created, so we got this secret as well. So let's try to send this. Okay. Now you can see this is unauthorized client, client not enabled to retrieve service account. So when we say service account, this account is meant for servicing purpose. So let's go to the client. Now this is service account enabled. This is currently off. That's why we are getting error message. Now if we read this information it allows you to authenticate the client to key clock and retrieve access token dedicated to it, this client that means this is directly enables client credentials grant for this client let's enable this let's save it now let's try okay we got the token so if we get this token and 
let's try to decode this so now you can see this is demo client and audiences for account okay so and other things right this is preferred username which is service account for demo client right email verified false because this email is not verified for this uh, service account then we will get other information when it is going to expire iit jti everything now to summarize create a client you need to have this thing access type as confidential then you need to enable service account so that the client credentials grant is enabled once that is done all you need to do get the token endpoint put the grant type as client credentials put the client id in client secret and you will get the access token so that's all about client credentials grant in over two and we'll meet in the next video put in the comments if you need any clarification any question Thank you very much. Bye-bye.